Hello everyone, I'm Jess of Black Travelers Network, where we provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, and we share news stories that impact the African diaspora. Even though travel is on hold, I've noticed a number of articles that are starting to talk about the impact this quarantine could likely have on international travel. Just as what happened with 9-11, there were changes that impacted the airports and just the overall traveling process. And so we fully and completely anticipate that will happen this time. However, <laughs> I have to say, when it comes to travel, there are certain things that I like to do on a daily basis that help to keep me in the travel frame of mind. I know there are many of you out there who are getting a bit antsy and ready to travel again. We are in a bit of a holding pattern. And so today I'm gonna share with you five daily habits that remind me of travel. The first thing that reminds me of travel is wearing fragrance around my house. No matter if I go out or not, when I get out of the bathtub, I always put on fragrance. I love various types of fragrances. I'm not really a huge perfume kind of girl, but I definitely have some perfumes that are a part of my fragrance collection. And one thing I always like to do if I'm going to wear an eau de parfum or an eau de toilette, I love to keep it light. I kind of steer clear away from the heavier fragrances. You'll catch me wearing a little bit of a heavier fragrance in the winter time or if I'm going to a part of the world that's kind of cold, which typically the places that we go are pretty much warm places so usually my fragrances will match the kind of climate that we go to and for those folks who are new to getting into fragrance just remember the rule of thumb the heavier the fragrance is it typically is going to go better in cooler climates or in the winter time and around the spring and the summer you definitely want to make sure you're wearing some light fragrances so that it keeps you smelling fresh but is not too overpowering but fragrance is a very important part of my daily routine because outside of it just making you feel good it reminds me of different parts of the world so as i said i don't really wear a lot of perfumes i do a combination of perfume and essential oils and other types of oils that I've gathered from different parts of the world. So I'm really more into like creams and oils and things like that to sort of express myself through fragrance. But I can talk on and on and on about fragrance. I just love it. It's one of my most favorite things to collect. It reminds me of a mood or a country and it just gives me a, a good kind of feeling you know when I'm able to wear a fragrance and so I don't care if I'm just sitting at the house it's something that I incorporate in my daily routine and yeah that reminds me of travel my second daily habit that reminds me of travel is eating a light breakfast and snacks so oftentimes when I'm traveling, I'm racing through the airport or I'm on one of our trips and usually we have a start time early in the morning. So out of everybody, I'm usually the one that's racing down at the last minute, maybe like the last five to 10 minutes before we have to depart. And I'm quickly grabbing as much as I can grab and putting it in like a napkin and stuffing it in my backpack so that I can have a quick breakfast that's light. Typically it's like a banana or one of my favorite drinks to get is like a vegan smoothie, which is pretty good because usually when you do like a vegan type smoothie, it's good enough and fulfilling enough to replace a meal. And so for me, a light breakfast with you know, different types of nuts like almonds or pecans or trail mix is always good for 
a snack. So what I eat definitely reminds me of travel. The third part of my daily routine that reminds me of travel is I'm always checking what's happening in the news around the world. And so if you look at this channel, it's definitely a reflection of one of my natural habits in terms of checking what's happening around the world. So you can definitely see this by the videos that are on this channel. I consume news in a number of different ways, largely various online articles. Rarely do I watch the news on the television. I'm largely on my cell phone or on my laptop looking to see what the latest news stories around the world are. And I've had this discussion recently because some people do not understand why this channel would have so many different types of news stories. And it's really quite simple. A lot of times what's happening in the world is important because as travelers, we travel all over our country. We travel to different parts of the world. I'm one of those people and I know a number of the people in our community we like to know what's going on around the world. And because we want to be informed travelers, it's really nice to have a place where there is a collection of stories about particular places around the world. That's a part of my daily routine. From the moment I wake up, I'm always checking the headlines to see what's going on around the world. What, what are some of the big stories? What are some of the things that travelers should know. The fourth thing that I do that's a part of my daily routine that reminds me of travel is reading a book. I'm always reading something and you know this really reminds me a lot of the long haul flights that I take to different parts of the world with our community. I like to read while I'm on the plane. Reading is so important and it should be a part of folks daily routine and you know, being in quarantine actually does allow f for much more time for people to read books. And so one of the books that I'm reading right now is a book that's called My Vision, Challenges in the Race for Excellence. It's by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the leader of Dubai. It's actually a fantastic book. I highly recommend this book. I bought the book when I was in Dubai because I was just so fascinated about what led them to creating this unbelievable city. It's such an amazing city. I've been reading that book. It's really good read that I actually recommend for those people who have some time during the quarantine to read and kind of take your mind away from what's going on in your particular part of the world. So the fifth and final thing that I do on a daily basis that is a part of my routine that reminds me the most of travel is getting some fresh air. You know, fresh air is so important and just being able to walk outside and have the sun hit your body is just so therapeutic in so many different ways. Sometimes my schedule is a little off, so I'll go to run an errand or if it's later on in the day at nighttime, I'll just step outside and just take a look at the night sky, which for me is something that's really important because looking at the night sky, you know, there are several websites that you can actually tune into that maps out the night sky. And so when you go outside and you look up, you can pull up one of the websites on your phone. It will tell you which stars are located where and which planets are located where. It's just the most amazing thing. I've been seeing a lot of Venus. Venus has been just, oh, just so beautiful next to the moon in the night sky. It's, it's just been shining so brightly. And so I like to do things like that because it really does help me put everything into perspective because no matter where you are in the world at this moment in time, when much of the world is still on lockdown, we are all a part of humanity. And even though there are moments that make you question 
what is happening within the context of our humanity and our existence. For me, one of the real connections that I find to be important is just going outside, taking a look at the night sky or feeling the sun rays hit me on my body. And it just, it just reminds me of how important it is for us to remain humble and respectful of mother nature, our planet, and this time frame that we're all in at this given moment. So thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you liked this video, make sure you press the like button. Drop in the comments below if there's anything you do on a daily basis that reminds you of travel. I thank you so much for listening. You guys be safe out there. And until next time.